Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back to La Lita Loca. My name's Tony, and I'm here with a cruise news update. Carnival Cruise Lines announcing they will be extending their suspension of service in Australia to June the 15th. This move falls in line with the guidelines set forth by the Australian government, and this extends the previous date another 30 days. Just earlier this past week, Carnival announcing that they would extend their suspension to May the 15th, but again, as government guidelines have shifted, so has the date for Carnival Cruise Lines in Australia. This alignment between the cruise lines and the government could be significant as we wait today to hear what Carnival Cruise Lines will do in the United States. Currently, Carnival Cruise Line under a 30-day shutdown that is set to end on April the 10th. Carnival put out a statement last week saying that that date would change and that they would make an announcement last Friday. Well, as Friday approached, they said that that announcement would be delayed until Monday. And now we are here on Monday waiting to see what will happen. I speculated that the Friday announcement had something to do with protecting the stock price. But between the time I said that, there was also news that the cruise lines... Uh, not primarily American companies because of their registration uh, and their taxation, they're not going to be included in the $2 trillion federal stimulus, at least at this point. It's uncertain whether that news delayed the announcement, but it certainly did impact cruise line stock prices as stock prices fell on Friday after the clarity about whether or not the major cruise lines would be included in the United States stimulus package. So it's going to be an interesting day of tracking along with the cruise line stock prices and anticipating what this announcement will be. Yesterday, the president of the United States extended the national shutdown until April the 30th, uh, extending the social distancing, the isolation guidelines uh, in another 30 days. It will be interesting to see if Carnival follows those guidelines as they did in Australia. I don't know if I really have a prediction I think the easy thing to do would just to follow the government guidelines, say no cruising in all of April. We'll try again in May, but maybe they will, uh, maybe they'll just go for 60 days and say no cruising in April or May. We'll try again in June. Uh, only time will tell. We'll wait for the announcement and I'll come back and talk about that. All this in the environment where the virus continues to spread, where the numbers continue to climb. It's interesting for a commentator like me primarily who looks at travel and leisure and non-essential things like cruising and tries to balance that thought process with what everybody else is going through. Uh, my hope is that as we look a little bit to cruising that it takes our mind off of some of the severity of the other issues out there. Uh, keep focusing, daydreaming dreaming on that cruise life as we do our best to get through life for the next couple months. Uh, what do you think is going to happen? Let's speculate a little bit in the comments before the announcement comes out today. This is Tony with La Lita Loca and until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido.